A disturbing story tonight out of rural Idaho. A Rupert family is seeking justice for their beloved pet after he was found brutally attacked. Patches, a Shetland pony, had to be put down Sunday after the family discovered him mutilated and badly beaten. Reporter Lauren Johnson joins us in studio with tonight's big story. Don and Michelle, the Minidoka Sheriff's Office is investigating. The story is hard to hear, and we want to warn sensitive viewers that some of the details and images are graphic. The family and Sheriff's Office does hope to find those responsible. In the small, tight-knit town of Rupert, Idaho, a Shetland pony named Patches grazed on a well-known corner lot, enjoyed treats from neighbor kids who stopped to visit him. He was known as the neighborhood pony, and to the Lopez family, he was even more. Another part of one of our family. But Sunday morning, the Lopez family made a horrible discovery. They found their beloved Patches, barely able to stand. He had been brutally beaten overnight, mutilated. His rope had been cut and tied to the back of a vehicle. His attackers had dragged Patches on asphalt for over a mile. Then we were horrified. The attackers cut off part of Patches' groin, and his eyes were swollen shut, his head smashed with an unknown object. Absolutely mutilated, badly beaten, drugged, you know, this hide was off of him. He had open wounds on his knees, a puncture wound above his, like, flank. On Sunday, Patches was put down because of the injuries, but his family says what hurts most is the amount he suffered. I can't even imagine anybody being that sick-minded. A GoFundMe account is set up to raise money for a reward to find those responsible. If you have any information, please contact the Minidoka Sheriff's Office. We will soon have that phone number and info on our website, idahoonyourside.com. Live in studio, Lauren Johnson, 6 on your side.